Where is he? I want to see this. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, he's got his mop and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Clean it up, Taylor Dorsey. Good job. You're the best here in of all time, buddy. Yeah, you get those grimy spots. So this guy's probably thinking fucking Falcon. Don't you dare condescend me. What is going on? Everybody, welcome back to another brick in the mall. I'm your host, the Birdman known as Falcon, and we're having a little bit of an issue here, as you can see. We're in day number four. I guess my business is expanding so well that I can't even keep people here. As you can see, all of our parking lots completely filled up already. Our two cashiers are completely overburdened. Um, wow. All right, so we have to do a couple of things. Number one, I think we need a third cashier. So, hire cashier for right now, right now. So, let's see. Um, you guys are pretty terrible. No surprise here. Unlock and buy new road access to have more applicants. Yeah, I know. I wish I could do that, but we still have to research that, number one. I guess we'll pick up Tim Dean. Speed and sociability. We'll pick up Tim Dean and we'll pick up Felicia Henderson, I believe. So, let's go into Tim Dean first. And Tim, I need you to come to work as soon as possible. So, like, uh, preferably right now. Remind me, guys. Falcon, after you've brought him in... Change their hours so they come in at the proper time next time around, too. So, right now, I just need you to come to work right now, right now. So, bring your ass here as soon as possible. And then we need another person for nighttime. So, let's go ahead and hire cashier. And we'll go with Felicia Hender. Oh. Well, Harvey's a bit more patient, which could be helpful. And we could also make Felicia a builder instead. Hmm... I think maybe... No, nah, I'll go with Felicia. Felicia. So you come in at what time do I need you in? I need you in, like, at... At 15. So you'll be part of the night crew. There you go. Okay. So that's good. Uh, now, how about workers? How many people do we have working right now? Builders hanging around at home. At home. Hanging around. Building. Stop hanging around and get to work, guys. Come on. Oh, yeah, it's my bad, though. I haven't set up anything for them to work on. Uh, first and foremost, I broke down these shelves because I wanted to set up more higher margin profit items. So let's go into build and we'll do... Actually, no, no, we can't even worry about that. We need some parking spots first. We're missing a bunch of sales right now because of that. So let's go to build and let's go into road work and we'll do... Uh, number one, we need some more roads, that's for sure. So we got to go down through here at least. And then we'll do customer parking up here when we get a chance. Oh boy. Ooh boy. Okay, workers, I need you on, like, you know, double duty here. Triple duty, maybe, even. Um, guys, please. There's a, an empty cashier up here now. Can you please diversify yourself over there, please? Like, just spread out. <laughs> spread out, goddammit. Oh, well, whatever. This is a really bad sight, by the way. You walk into the store, you see a huge line in front of you. Like, we should really move this cashier elsewhere, because this is not a good spot. People walk in, they see, like, a pack the store, and they're thinking, ah... You know what? I'm gonna go down the road instead. I don't think I wanna wait in line. That's how I do anyway. When I walk into a store and I see it's completely, you know, filled up. Even if I'm looking to buy something, it's kinda like, eh, you know what? Let's just go elsewhere. I don't wanna wait in line. You know why I enjoy stores, going to stores these days? Because a lot of them now have the self-checkout lanes, and I love those. For some reason, people are petrified of self-checkout lanes. Every time I go to a shop, to, to a shop, to a store to buy something, every single time, the lines are completely filled up, the cashier ones, but the self-checkout lane's always empty, and I love it, because I love self-checking out. I like to go over there, and just ring my shit up, slide my car through, bada bing bada boom, I'm out of there. And everybody's over there still waiting in line, I'm just kinda like, ah, see ya later, suckers. I love self-checkout lanes. It's the best thing ever. I'm so glad they invented those. Because if I walked into stores looking like this, like my own store, I guess, I'd be like, yep, I'm out of here, my friends. So much for those sales. Alright, so customer parking down through here, and down through here. Okay, now, I think I might set up a fast food joint right here. So, I don't think it's a bad idea to extend the road down this way a bit more. Perhaps, right? Like, I want to have, like, a fast food joint right next to my store, right? So people come over here and eat, and then they come over here next door and start shopping a little bit, right? So, if that's the case, let's actually go ahead and extend the road down through here. Cater to the future customers, so we don't have this issue again. Alrighty. Hey, look at this profit margin, though. Oh my god. We're not even, like, halfway done through our day. It's, like, already, like, a 282. Very nice. And this over here, I do believe, is the expired bread. Now, the problem with this is, I'm not even sure how to get rid of that. I have... This is expired. Hey! Get over here. Cody Salas. Yeah. So, the bags are for the expired food. 
Now, I don't know how to get rid of them. I, I, I've i hired janitors before off camera to like see if they can move the bags away. They don't move them. So I'm not sure how you get rid of those. Um, I just, I have no idea. Maybe you have something you have to research. Maybe you donate it to like, uh, I don't know, like some sort of like shelter or something. And you're probably thinking, Falcon, how dare you give shelter food that's expired. Well, that's how it happens in stores, okay? When the food goes beyond the expiration, they, they give them over to shelters, okay? I've worked plenty of retail jobs in my life, and that's what they do. It's not a bad thing. It's still, you know, it's still good food. It's just not like, you know, hey, let me sell out the store good anymore, because people have, like, higher standards. Kind of like, oh, I see you put this out yesterday, huh? Yeah, no, I don't think I want that. You, you put that out yesterday. I don't blame them, you know, it's your hard-earned money, but still. It's just not good for the paying public. But still, shelter people will take it. I'm gonna get off of the subject now. It feels really awkward. <laughs> shelter people. What the fuck does it even mean, you jerk? <laughs> no shame at all. Shelter people. Wow, listen to this guy. Check your privilege, Falcon. Um, Alright, so more customer parking down through here and down through here. Alrighty. I mean, we have a lot to work with anyway, so I don't have to worry too much about the roads here. And to open up these roads, by the way, I have to research them, so um, that won't be happening anytime soon. Because right now we're trying to get the research done for the the fast food chain. Okay, now that we have some customer parking, a lot of it as a matter of fact, let's go on ahead over here and what I would like to do is perhaps, um, well, I guess put in those extra shelves that we removed earlier, right? So let's go into building objects and we'll go into more shelves because these bad boys here offer some pretty, pretty good profit margin. Alrighty. Very good. And this is my late night crew, right? Or not not yet. Probably not yet. Wow, we look at that. <laughs> money. Money, money, money. Uh, let's go to manager really quickly. Let's see. Mm, we're looking for store people. Twenty-two hours at work. Twelve hours. Cody Salas is just hanging around. That's my store clerk, though. Eric Rubio is at work, and Sally Beck is at home. So, wait a minute. One person at work, two at work, three at work. No, we're looking pretty good. We're looking very good. So, three people working right now. Once we close up, we'll go ahead and rearrange the the issue that we had with the, um, the scheduling properly. But that's uh, once we're done with the store for today. All right, so let's see here. 10,000, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. We took care of that issue, though, and we took care of that issue, too. Parking is no longer a problem, at least for now. It seems like we're doing really good here. I could probably use another builder here, but... Um, you know what? I have, like, extra builders, don't I? Let's go into maintenance center. Let's see. 12 hours. You're building now. 4 hours, 13 hours, 13 hours. Patricia, let's bring your ass... Work a little bit earlier than usual. Um, so perhaps... On the way to work? Uh, sure. You're here already? That works. That's fine. Alright. Like, I have, like, three builders in one single time of the day, and then, like, only one person for the rest of the day. It's, like, kind of bad. So this kind of, like, spreads it out a little bit. My shelves are being built now. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go into fast speed, then. And let's go to select. Alrighty. Let's see here. What are we looking for? Uh, let's go with... <laughs> what's good next to bread? Uh... Cookware, maybe. Uh, maybe? Maybe cookware? Whatever. We'll do cooker right here, and then we'll do... What's this one? This is toys. Next to toys, we'll have... More toys! You can't go wrong with toys! There you go. Alrighty. So, as you can see here, at nighttime, we start having less customers, so it's probably not so ideal to have, like, this many cashiers later in the day. But since we're turning a good profit right now, I don't... Well, I mean, we just went to negatives right now. But, I mean, for the day, it was a good net profit, right? Because we've been building a lot, too, so that's actually been cutting into our sales. But overall, I think we're still doing pretty, pretty good. So, let's see. You get it removed. And let's see. What we're going to do here is we're waiting for my my storage person to come in and work on this here, right? Yeah. And soon enough, we'll probably have to hire ourselves a janitor. Soon. Once we start seeing some grime on the floor, it'll be janitor time. My cashiers to oh yeah yeah I fuck I forgot to do it I forgot to do it again didn't I um store so you're at work already Sally Eric Rubio will come in in nine hours so you're part of the late night crew you're part of the late night crew you're at work and 
come and work in five hours. No, no, see, that, I don't need that. So, one person, nine hours, you're part of late night. You come in as well in nine hours. You're at work, at home, so I need you to come in now, Tim Dean. And then you come in. Uh, I guess we could have a little bit of overlap. You come in at 10 hours, that's fine. And then Tim Dean, you come in mm, at 1, that would be like at 6 roughly, right? Yeah, we'll do that. Have a small little overlap in case I get stuck in traffic, you know, you need a little bit of help, backup, just planning ahead. So that's pretty good. At least we'll have three people morning and three people at night. A little bit of small overlap as well. Everything is fine. Okay. Now, storage. You dealt with that already? Very good. Very nice. Okay. Let's go to select here. Uh, those goddamn bags are just bothering me so much. I almost want to get rid of the fresh bread, to be honest with you. But, I mean, the margin isn't even that great when it comes to the profit, too. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's see how we're doing here today. 24 of 68. Money, money, money. Okay. Customer parking over here. I mean, employee parking over here. Who's driving this? Man! Somebody's got the little soccer mom minivan, but somebody's got a like, bitching little red car over here. Whose car is that, huh? You tell me right now whose car that is. Alright, and we're already in the profits here. Pretty good. Um, Let's find out how close we are to this research. Oh, come on. We need under a day to get the goddamn... um fresh foods and hopefully getting the fridges for the fast food joints as well. Oh! You got some grime! It is time for us to hire a janitor. And I need you, my friend over here, Cody Salas, to restock that, please, okay? Come over here and restock the, the shelf of, what is that, dishes? We need dishes and we also need car tools. Over here, Cody Salas. Get to work, dog. Uh, let's go ahead and hire a janitor. So we're going to maintenance center, hire janitor, Alrighty, who's going to be my janitor here? Oh, Taylor Dorsey. You're looking pretty good for the job, my friend. Terrible speed, but, you know, pretty decent work rate for it. So we'll pick up Taylor Dorsey here. And Taylor, I need you to just come in at, like, as soon as possible, really. On his way to work. Um, I mean, that's fine and everything, but I need you to... You're cleaning already? Well, I guess that'll do. Cool. Where is he? I want to see this. Oh, there he goes! Yeah, he's got his mop and everything! Yeah! <laughs> Clean it up, Taylor Dorsey! Good job! You're the best janitor of all time, buddy. Yeah, you get those grimy spots. Good job, Taylor. Alrighty. Best janitor of all time right there. Why this guy's probably thinking, fucking Falcon, don't you dare condescend me. So here's the thing. I, I got him right here as a janitor, right? Uh, as you can see, they don't move the expired bags either. So I I'm really curious about that. I guess you have to unlock something? I don't know. Uh, we missed a couple of sales, really? We're missing a cashier right now. Why is that? Oh, because you're leaving for the work and then people are coming in. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Well, we're still doing all right, but I'm surprised we missed any sales. We're like, you know, how good I've been about, like, having distributing cashiers and stuff like that around. Oh, well. So let's see here. The drinks are coming in 3 to 6 a day. You're 7 to 14. 8 of 16, 7 of 14, 7 of 14. Alrighty. It feels like we really need, like, less bread. Like, considering how all this is expiring, we don't even move the product in timeout. I think we should probably get rid of this guy here, and I think I will. Let's go to remove this as well. I don't want it here. All these bags are just kind of, like, you know, triggering my OSD, and I don't want that happening. OSD? <laughs> my OCD, I meant. OSD! I don't even know what would that stand for, OSD. My OSD is really triggered right now. Um, we need objects. We need another... Let's do another shelf here, I guess. And... What are we replacing in this good bad boy? Who knows? Builders? There he is. Oops. We want to go with... Ah, uh, more car tools. Right next to what? <laughs> right next to the cookware. That's cool. It works out. Alrighty. I just want to speed up enough time so we can actually start opening our... Oh! I see Grime again. Hey! Taylor! Taylor! Taylor's gone, guys. Taylor's gone for the day. I, I think we might need two um, janitors now. We're, we're doing so much good business now that our store gets dirtier even faster. So let's go to Manage. Uh, janitor, you work those hours. Huh? So we need somebody for the earlier. Let's have you work that one at 14. 
And let's hire ourselves a new janitor. We'll go with, um, I just want to speed here at the moment. So we'll do Kim Brandt. And Kim, I need you to come in. Um, I mean, we're basically boned here for the night, it does seem. So we'll deal with that tomorrow. So come in like at that one. There it is. And select. I know, I know. We're almost closed up, people. Don't complain about the grime in the store, okay? I will clean it up in the afternoon. Okay, customers, just come in and buy what you need and just leave. Just ignore the grime on the floor. It's fine. I assure you, none of the light products have actually touched that little area right there, so you're good. They're golden. All right, look at that. 1,200 profit. Not bad. Not bad. We're moving up. Our next goal is 2,000 if I'm right, correct? Ye ye make 2,000 total sales. Um, have 100 customers on site. Well, the customers will come once we get the second store up and running. Speaking of which, do we got that now? Cold chain? Oh, we're five hours from getting it. We're so close to. All right, it's almost about to happen, so I'm happy. I am quite happy indeed. Is this your car, by the way, dude? Like, why don't you work in the, uh, or park here? Aaron? Does Aaron ever leave? I feel like I always see Aaron just hanging out. <laughs> He's got nowhere to go. Bladder. Huh. No restrooms. Hey, how about that? We'll go home. That's really interesting. I never even noticed that. Hunger and bladder. Well, I would like to have the bladder stuff, but we have to reach to the toilets first, which I can because I need the... Oh, we should probably have it. Man. Hold up. Pause. 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 There we go. Coaching is now complete. So let's remove you guys here. And next thing you're telling me is alcohol. I would love some alcohol in the store, honestly. But, oh, night hours. That could be pretty good for too. Um, fast food is what I really need because if we go over to needs, fast food is really, really high up. And we provide none of it at all. So let's go to research. What do we need for fast food? Is that like something I have to open up myself? Let's see. Restaurants. Yep. 96 hours, so another long time to wait. Um, what I could do is skip that for now and go into the toilets, I guess. Let's see, where would that be at? Restrooms, 48 hours, so two days to unlock the restrooms. Do you guys think we need um, restrooms first or the restaurants? I mean, the bladder could be a problem, as we mentioned. <laughs> People might need to urinate, and we don't offer that at our store. You know what? Screw it. I'm sorry. If you didn't go to the restroom before you came to my store, what can I say? I apologize for you, but it's your, that's on you. Look, here's what I do. Whenever I, whenever I go out, I always use the restroom first because I can't go out in public. If I'm in a public area, I can use those toilets. Maybe I could go into the urinate, but any other business, I better have dealt with it before I left the house. That's all I can really tell you. Urination, probably it's K. Okay. I'll just go in there and I'll just, you know, find a urinal really quickly, do my business and leave. But I'm sorry. Any other business, you should take care of that at home before you left. So let's research the restaurants instead. Alrighty, now, we should have some new items, though. Let's go to build here. And if I'm right, let's see, let's go to fridge. Yep, we have milk, dairy, fresh meat, fresh fish, juices. Haha! <laughs> we have a bunch of new items over here for sale, which is going to be great. Um, I wanted you guys to be my toilets, right? So, man. We might... We might extend the store... Well, we might as well extend it upwards, right? Because there's... Yeah, I doubt I'm do much over here. We can extend it upwards a bit. I kind of want to go to the side, too. Uh, I guess what we could do is just extend to the side and up. And we'll just move the storage area down below. We'll make this part of the store. I guess that'll work. Let's actually start working on this. So we'll do build uh, foundation. And we'll do... Uh, I think that works out. Right? Kind of works out? Sure. So we'll do that, and then we'll do a little bit of this. We're spending a lot of money, but you know what? With all the new items we got, I think it's actually really important for us to take advantage of that. That's a pretty nice um, size store there. Okay, how many workers do we have right now? Three people working? Very good. That'll get it done at some point. All right. Let's gonna select here. We have three cashiers. All righty. Very good. These goddamn bags, I wish you would leave forever. You bother me. You trigger my OSD, as I like to call it. <laughs> Falcons OSD, man. Alrighty, very good. Cool. So I think we're almost out of time here. We're going to wrap it up, guys. I'll come back next episode, and we'll start setting up some fresh meats, some fresh fish, some juices, dairy. You name it, man. It'll be here. We'll cover everything at some point. We'll get restaurants, too. So it's looking pretty good. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. Stick on for next episode. I will catch you next time.